Hi and welcome back to Larand Gaming and if you are new to the channel, welcome. I, I am Larand and yes, it's Friday, it's Merchant Day and it's week 37 this time. And we do have had our server restart just uh, a few hours ago. So most likely gonna have some new Merchant item. That's super exciting. They even actually posted on their announcement channel on Discord that they added Merchant items. So fairly sure we're gonna see something new. It's 9 minutes until arrival and uh, yeah, server is full and we're just gonna stand here until the arrival. And while we do that, let's take a closer look at the community. Yes, and it's a little less than one minute left. And here we go, the Wandering Merchant has arrived in Port Jackson week 37. <laughs> Alright, so let's see the reactions. We have yay, we have yo, we have tags. <laughs> Lol, what? Okay, I have no idea. So let's check it out. Uh, so here we have what's this? Back backpack glass horseman. Oh, <laughs> so it's uh, a backpack that doesn't show up. Basically, it removes <laughs> it removes the backpack just as requested. Fantastic. So I think this just removes the visibility of the backpack very cool because then you can actually show other UGC items that uh, has been requested so that's awesome uh, we have the trident of the sea again so I saw it like the second time last week and it's here again and we also have the jet ski version 2 that has a top speed of 200 and a health of 800 what we're also gonna test this time is the turning radius or the turning speed, just like I did the last time when I made a review of boats. Alright, yes, okay, so we're gonna start by buying this backpackless horseman's backpack. <laughs> Alright, so backpack space 310 and a price of 310 shards. This is quite a lot, I must say, though. But we need to test it out, of course, and uh, this will remove my backpack if I buy it, I guess. And yeah, we can already see on the back here, it disappeared. We're also gonna equip the Trident of the Sea. It still has the same price of 15 shards, which is awesome. And we're gonna try out the Jet Ski version 2. So we're gonna equip it. And this Jet Ski doesn't look like your preview most likely, because I already own it. And mine is fully customized already. But we can go into the customization before we uh, leave the merchant. So, what you can customize here is the light, you have the glass, which I've chosen a ghost color so it becomes a little bit transparent. You have the jets, I can uh, actually rip just change the color just so you can see what that looks like. Uh, you have jet caps, which is uh, what you have surrounding the jets, top and bottom. You have primary, let's see, and so that's that part. And you have the secondary, which is the remaining black. And of course, as always, you have the horn. But for now, we're gonna start with the backpack less horseman's backpack. <laughs> Try to say that 10 times fast. Uh, Alright, so clearly here it is. Take a look at it. We're gonna do a free camera, of course. <laughs> so yeah, you can see here's my back. And uh, yeah, you can't see it basically. It's not here. And this is actually awesome because when you <laughs> are one of those that buy UGC items, I need to buy something that I will have on my back. So let's see, well, let's go to, what's the name of this guy, by the way? Salesman, okay. So let's talk to the salesman. And uh, yeah, let's see, so we have back. Now we can use 
everything here without it's being interfered with the original backpack in fishing simulator so maybe one of these weapons no not a weapon i want to have a fish on my back then i can choose maybe a marlin or shark plushie i should have a shark plushie because i i do have the blow high boat so that will be a perfect match uh, we're gonna buy it it costs a uh, hundred robux here we go shark plushie question is does it equip it right away i need to find out so it doesn't equip it right away so i need to go out and change my avatar and equip it from there okay so now i've been out in the web browser and i have equipped it so if i do a reset now like this i should have a shark plushie on my back and i do <laughs> awesome now it's not interfered by any other backpacks that is just totally awesome What's happening here? Are they having a jumping competition now again? Or something? I don't know. <laughs> Alright. And just to show you the difference here now. Uh, so this backpack looks just awesome. And uh, this is an item that I can use anywhere in any game in Roblox. If it supports the avatar itself of course. But uh, that's very cool. We're gonna just put something else on my back. If I would have like, uh, I can take this totally legal bag. If I equip that, you can see the conflict here. <laughs> it doesn't really look that good. So this item is actually very, very useful. If you have something fancy, for instance, if you have a really, really expensive and cool UGC item, or just, just one of those UGC items that you really love and would like to show, then this Backpackless Horseman's backpack is very, very good. Something worth to mention, if you don't know it already, Backpack Space 310, if you already have a backpack that is larger and you replace it with something smaller, you will always have the space of the largest backpack, so no real big concern. So I will still have my largest space, which is... Uh, from the cybernetics glider because that has backpack space 1000 so i can wear this without problem so i can use this backpack that is not visible without problem at all and then we have oh it stopped raining fantastic clear skies i love it <laughs> but then we had this uh, spear the trident of the sea really really good spear for uh, i would say beginners and early on in the game with a price of 15 shards, that is really, really good price. It's just one shard quest and this spear can be yours. So just like last week, grab the opportunity while you can if you really want to have a, a fairly good start into the game. Because uh, with a damage of 450, it requires two hits to down an orca and it, it requires two hits to get a shark because they have 700 hit points. But that's really good when you are early in the game. Uh, what I also like with this spear is that it does emit a glow as you can already see here on the color on the ground it's just fantastic and it has neon textures uh, it has no trail as you can see it doesn't show anything when i throw it and it doesn't have anything special when i throw it into the wall you can actually throw it into a tree then you can see what happens on the opposite side <laughs> but we're gonna run away here into this dark area in Port Jackson as always but uh, yeah you can see clearly a very visible glow I love this effect it's so cool that you can have such a thing on something that is so cheap so <laughs> I really really like it but then we're gonna go and continue with the jet ski version 2 and uh, <laughs> we are still jumping here all right so let's see, let's uh, spawn the boat. Here we have it. So as we can see, this has a top speed of 200, which is quite a lot actually. It's one of the fastest boats out there, if you can even call it a boat. Uh, it doesn't control like a UFO. Just want to mention that, even though you have engines like this. So it just steers like a regular boat. But we're going to find out, of course, uh, since I did a new kind of test last time when it came to boats. I need to find out if the turning speed is somewhat different. Many times when you fight things like, say, Mubi Wood, you need to turn around quick. Because, yeah, Mubi is a fast moving whale. Yeah, so we're going to go over here to Watcher's Bay just like last time. So just like last time, I will bring up my stopwatch on my, <laughs> on my mobile phone. And I will also add a timer when I do the final edit.
Yeah, so that's roughly seven seconds. It's not that bad, but it's not uh, but it's not one of the fastest one when it comes to turning. So the quickest ones that we have currently in the game is the blow high boat and the narwhal. They make a full 360 turn in three seconds. Oh my god, they are still jumping. <laughs> That's crazy. So my conclusion and what I would say is the best item this week is if it wasn't because of the very high price of this backpack less horseman's backpack, I would say that one. It doesn't give you any other benefits. It will give you more backpack space if you have something that is lower than 310 in space. But uh, seeing the price, uh, it does require six weeks of shard questing. That's quite a lot to get something that is not visible, <laughs> if you understand what I mean. But it's still an awesome feature. It has been requested by many. Now there is an option, so really thank you for that. That's awesome. But I would say this spear this week also. This spear is still very good to those that are newer to this game. So I would say this one is uh, yeah, it's probably my favorite this week also. Well, in any case, that was all I had for you today. If you do have any questions and comments about this, please put them below. Like this video if you would like to see more content from Fishing Simulator. Please subscribe and yes, have a nice day. Bye everyone.